As an ethnic Torjan in northern Indonesia, Berta Kondarura's transition to the hereafter was supposed to be an elaborate mixture of mourning and tradition's steep celebration. Most of the nearly 500,000 Torjans in the Parinang Valley are Christian, according to National Geographic, but their funeral rites trace a direct route to the island of Sulawesi's traditional religion. A luck to Dolo, or Way of the Ancestors. The funeral tradition may call for tending to a loved one's body long after death, sometimes even years after. At funerals, which can cost tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars and extend for days, people dance and sing and feast on pork. Sometimes, water buffalo were sacrificed by villagers. But first, the recently deceased guest of honor, resting in an ornate casket, is hoisted into an elaborately carved still tower known as Alakian. It is at that solemn moment that Kondorua's funeral went tragically awry. On Friday, as many as 20 pallbearers were carrying the red coffin up a bamboo ladder leading to the Lackian for Kondorua, police said, according to The Guardian. As the male family members edged the coffin into the tower, one of the bamboo pieces holding up the ladder shifted. Men and pieces of ladder tumbled to the ground. Some of the pallbearers scurried onto the tower. A woman went to check her corn and was swallowed by a python on the coffin, now vertical and supported by nothing, dropped more than 10 feet to the ground as frightened onlookers stared or screamed. At the bottom of the mass of people in bamboo and fabric was Saman Kondorura, Berta's 40-year-old son. He had been near the end of the coffin, one of the last trying to push it up into the tower. As the mother's coffin was being raised to the Lackian, suddenly the ladder shifted and collapsed, the coffin fell and hit the victim, Julianto Sirat, chief police commissioner of the Tana Taraja municipality on Sulawesi, told The Guardian. Onlookers tried to dig him out of the pile, but it was too late. Same and Kondorur died on his way to the hospital, according to MDTV. National Geographic has described Torjan funerals as mostly celebratory affairs easily outstripping the conviviality of Irish wakes. To Westerners, they resemble a hybrid of a wedding and a family reunion, complete with body singing, buffalo battles and raucous water fights that leave guests drenched. As National Geographic wrote, for Berta Kondorua's family, the funeral was a chance to showcase its standing in the community and how much the family cared for its dearly departed. Instead, police concluded her son died because of faulty construction. Sarati told The Guardian that the latter wasn't properly reinforced by the builders. The family has declined to press charges against whoever built the structure. Instead, it has turned its attention to the funeral of Saman Kondorura, the newspaper reported. His casket now lies beside his mother's. Istok, read more, scientists have identified the 50-foot creature that washed up on an Indonesian beach giant pythons keep attacking people in Indonesia, and humans might be to blame a deranged woman trapped her two toddlers on a ledge. Watch the police rescue. This world is a better place without her, a family savage final send-off to their mother, 